I'm going to show you one more experiment. This is one of my favorite ones. So my friend Dana Small, who's a food researcher at Yale, for her PhD thesis, she wanted to figure out how she could do an experiment with chocolate. So what she did was that she found, she brought in a bunch of different types of chocolate and she brought people in and she said, pick your favorite chocolate. I'm going to put you in this scanner. It's called a PET scanner positron em emission tomography. And the reason she used a PET scanner as compared to an fMRI scanner was that it, people can move their jaw. They're, it tolerates a little more head motion than fMRI scanners do. And what she did was she fed them their favorite chocolate and just had them rate. How, how much do you like this? And what she found at the beginning made a lot of sense. You know, you're getting fed your favorite chocolate people rate it is 10 out of 10 delicious i really want another piece and she'd feed them more and more and more and eventually people systematically march down this rating scale to the point where they're thinking man what am i doing here what did i sign up for you know because th they would rate it as negative 10 you know awful eating more would make me sick and one of the reasons this experiment so interesting to me is that at both ends of the scale, at both ends of the spectrum, they were activating their posterior cingulate cortex. And you can see, not exactly the medial prefrontal cortex, but let's zoom in on the posterior cingulate. So at 10 out of 10, this, I want more. Negative 10 out of 10, get this out of here. This makes me sick. I want, this is awful. They were activating their posterior cingulate cortex. And this is one of the experiments that I think really helps us see how this getting caught up in experience actually works.